Hello my friends, welcome back, welcome if you're new. Today we are at Southworks Antiques Mall, it's Canada's largest antique mall with over 35,000 square feet of the most amazing props from movies and television, history, art, nostalgia and unusual antiques. This place is absolutely wonderful. I took a day off from trying to set up the house and unboxing um, to be honest I found it a little overwhelming I've been doing it all on my own um, and it is very difficult trying to fit three stories into one story especially knowing it's not your forever home or even your own home um, this is a new concept for me so um, I will be updating you on the progress with the house but in the meantime I found out about this most amazing place as I said in Cambridge Ontario it is uh, all on one floor and it is just room after room of pure heaven as far as I'm concerned the um, I've been looking for storage items and I have picked up a few over the last couple of weeks but I did go here in my pick up a desk or um, a secretary and I did get what I wanted it wasn't from this place but I did pick up a couple of things that I've been looking for for quite a while actually but I'm just going to sort of let let you uh, follow along with me as I walked around this uh, like I said this most amazing place one of the things that I did find when I moved was all the pictures that I had I'm uh, I've just got loads of beautiful pictures uh, but I'm very drawn to them and this booth had some beautiful ones I think I only said that most of the booths had amazing stuff and it was a bit of a mixture I'm finding a lot of these antique malls are going for a lot of um, mid-century now I'm not sure if that's because we're running out of actual antiques but mid-century is very popular I think it might be as well because it's very boho and that's a very popular look at the moment as well. Well, saw this unit, absolutely loved it. It was $600, so I didn't pick it up. But this is the type of thing that I'm looking for for this house. Something wooden, something that looks old, even if it's not old. Love the leaded glass panes. Um, that is actually, that display unit would be perfect for my bookshelves. I want to get the books out. Initially, I was thinking Ikea. Uh, bookshelves but they're definitely not going to go with the house so I need something that is either wooden or uh, glass doors or something like that to something a bit different to put my books in but finding it is that's what I'm having difficulty with um, like I said I'm, I'm that's what I went looking for storage but I just <laughs> just gorgeous this place was they had so many specific booths uh, jewellery, um, you know, s specific eras, uh, knickknacks, uh, dishes, you know, that type of thing. So that it was so well organised. Um, I really loved this Staffordshire dog, but $675 again was not going to happen. I can't see that ever selling for that much. It was lovely. And I do have a couple of them. And I did actually pick one up, which I think had been a bookend at some point. Um, but it was nowhere. It was, I think uh, I got it for $20. Um, so the price has to be right, obviously. Some of these items are ridiculously overpriced. I loved that spode dish, but I'm not going to buy any more until I have somewhere permanent and I can display my dishes properly again. Thank you. 
this was at the end of one of the first aisles and there was a lot of really nice stuff in this particular um, booth these there was two pictures um, I think they were oil paintings they were gorgeous very muted colors they were four hundred dollars each there were a lot of Chinese art um, which is not my style but they were beautiful I loved this cabinet um, this type of cabinets you used to see in small town thrift stores and and they used to be great prices you don't see them so much anymore I think people are, are catching on that if they can sell them privately as antiques uh, they will this particular um, candle holder was just under a thousand dollars and it was brass it weighed an absolute ton there was a little bit of damage to it but it was gorgeous I would have loved that god only knows where I would have put it um, there were also these two statuettes uh, very art deco and they were $250 each again just beautiful I love these when they're lamps as well and again you just don't see them anymore not not like you used to these uh, this coat and umbrella stand I would love again $650 that seemed to be the number for the day if it was about $600 I really wanted it and just didn't <laughs> didn't bother obviously it was it was out of my league um, these architectural items as well $650 each I don't know what you would use them for I suppose pedestals but uh, they've probably come from some big grand house um, I love tapestries I would have loved that one and this one these are the old fireplace I used to put them in front of the fireplace to uh, you know to, to from your keep your face from getting too warm um, that was cute I think that was $190 um, it was a lot of bed sets I'd recently seen on uh, one of the uh, like Facebook marketplace there were two French single beds and they were free there were a lot of damage to them and by the time I'd seen them and, and called them they were gone but I would have loved to have picked those up and restored them um, again popular items that are, are very trendy at the moment are the suitcases and lots of baskets and picnic hampers but uh, like I said there's such a lot of, of great stores here As always, I've drawn to the transfer where I saw this set. It was sold as individual pieces. There was a nice platter that was $25, but I was being good. Didn't buy it because I thought, you know, I can't display it properly. So I walked away. $275 or $85 was this uh, chandelier which was gorgeous these two lamps I think it was $90 for the set very French looking loved the look of them um, there was a few more items on in this booth this was very art deco um, arts and crafts $1,500 just beautiful would have loved that.
As I came upon this stall, I was walking towards it and saw something on the top shelf that I've been looking for for several years now. Exactly what I was looking for. Um, two cast silver pheasants. And they were $110 for the pair. And uh, they were, I just love them. And I thought, no, you know what? I, I'm not, I don't need them now. I'm looking for storage items, so I left them. But before I got to the car, I thought, you know what? I'm going to get these because I don't see them anywhere. I've been looking for that long. I see them on Etsy and they're a ridiculous price. And then you have to pay for shipping. So I went back and I got them. And I'm so pleased that I did. Well, that was part one. I should show you my, my silver pheasants. They are beautiful. I have them on my table in the living room right now there is a slight bit of damage as i said that i am going to i think i'm going to either silver leaf them or i might just take the spray can and silver spray them i'm going to see how the silver leaf turns out first of all but i'm so pleased with them they are beautiful so that was part one um as i said i'm just showing you my um pheasants there are other items that will i will show you the finished items in part two there was a couple of items that i picked up and there's a couple of items of furniture that i've got that are around the house so i will show that in part two and hopefully after that then there will be a, a mini tour of the house so far <laughs>